Last November, the people of South Dakota voted to legalize recreational marijuana, and it was set to go into effect this summer. However, a judge appointed by the state's governor, who was a Trump sycophant, by the way, has decided to unilaterally overturn the will of the people. And her reasoning is bullshit. So as Reed Wilson of The Hill reports, a South Dakota judge ruled Monday that a voter-approved constitutional amendment that would have legalized marijuana for recreational use was in itself unconstitutional, setting up a legal fight that pits Governor Kristi Noem against her own constituents. Circuit Court Judge Christina Klinger, a Noem appointee in Pierre, ruled that Amendment A violated a rule that ballot measures cover only a single subject and that it does not conform to rules governing the way the state constitution is amended. South Dakota voters approved Amendment A, which legalized recreational marijuana by a 54% to 46% margin in November. A separate ballot measure legalizing marijuana for medicinal purposes passed with almost 70% support. South Dakotans for Better Marijuana Laws, the group that backed the amendment, pledged to appeal Monday's court ruling. We disagree with the ruling and we are preparing our appeal to the South Dakota Supreme Court, the group said in a statement. State Attorney General Jason Raffensborg's office, which is responsible for defending state laws, said to Tuesday, it is still reviewing the judge's decision. Raffensborg's attorneys had moved to throw the challenge out earlier this year. Noam, a first-term Republican governor who allied herself closely with former President Trump, has been unusually focused on opposing the amendment, both during the campaign and after voters gave the measure their approval. The lawsuit challenging the amendment's validity was brought by the head of the state highway patrol, who sued at Noam's request, and the sheriff of Pennington County. Were Amendment A to take effect in July, South Dakota would be the 15th state to legalize marijuana for recreational use and the 13th state in which voters themselves approved a ballot measure to make marijuana legal. So for whatever reason, this imbecile decided to sabotage a law that her own constituents passed. Does she want to be a one-term governor? It's not like this was close. Like this passed pretty solidly. I just don't understand why you would very explicitly go against the will of the people. Like, they clearly want this, and you lost. You made the case against this. It was nonsensical. They saw through it, and they voted to legalize recreational marijuana. But you just, you couldn't take it. You couldn't handle them not doing what you wanted. So you chose to attempt to challenge democracy. I mean, why do Republicans hate democracy? And furthermore, if you're a Republican, isn't your entire philosophy small government? How is this small government? Aren't you supposed to be pro-capitalist? Having a flourishing marijuana industry in your state, isn't that pretty pro-capitalist? Isn't that the free market? Like, I just don't get it. These folks are hypocrites by their own standards, but no reasonable person should be against the legalization of marijuana for recreational uses. Because guess what? It's been done before in other states, and it's a success everywhere. In my state, I literally can walk into a store and purchase pot. It's simple. Everyone loves it. And there was a lot of fear mongering at first, particularly like during the campaign days when it was on the ballot. But now people who were naysayers support it. Older people have tried it who were previously against it because it was stigmatized. But legalizing it, not only does it get rid of the stigma, but it gives people access to it who didn't previously have access to it, who have found that it helps them to sleep better or, you know, decrease anxiety or hell, God forbid, lets them have a little bit of fun. Like, this is a very, very stupid thing to be against. It's bad politics and it's bad policy. But the governor of South Dakota decided to spit in the eyes of her own citizens. What an idiot. What an idiot. I will never understand politicians who are against this. Never. Because it's an easy political win. You can score points on the left and also the right. There are many conservatives who want marijuana to be legalized because a lot of people like smoking pot. So why not just like take the L? It's just, it's just genuinely baffling to me how anyone in 2021 can be against grown adults using pot. Insane. So I hope that the group who is appealing this is successful because this cannot stand. I mean, this is very clearly like it's bogus. They're trying to shoot this down on a technicality. But you're just trying to overturn the will of the people. 
So do you or do you not hate democracy? It's not like they're voting on anything that is going to harm the public or harm a particular group of people. They're voting on a civil liberties issue that's been decided in states that's not even controversial in some states. So I just don't get why you go out of your way to get on the losing side of this argument. Like history is going to look back at you very unkindly and see you as an obstacle to progress. Progress that everyone agreed on, basically. I mean, it's not like 100% of the country supports pot legalization, obviously. But when you have a majority of Americans agree on anything, maybe shut the fuck up. Sit down. Let them have this one. 